Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Everybody is worried about um, FSW draws, CEC draws, whether they will resume, if they resume, uh, what will be the CRS, how many draws will be there, what is the future of uh, express entry in, in that regard. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to share data, okay, numbers, theories, and I'm not going to consider whether um, uh, express entry is going to be knock based or not. I'm not going to consider that, okay. So, um, as we all know, that the supplementary information for the multi-year level, multi level plan uh, for the year 2022, 2023, 2024, these three years level plan, it depicts that 55,900 people will be um, landing in Canada as PR in the year 2022, okay? And uh, 75,750 people will be landing in Canada in uh, 2023 as PR, okay? So the total number of uh, people landing in Canada is um, 131,650, okay? Uh, let's say 131,000, okay? These are the people who will be landing in Canada in these two years, 2022 and 23. That is clear, that is out of the way. Now we have an inventory of 76,000, okay, as per the internal memo set. So we deduct 76,000 from 100 and, um, 131,000. The result would be 55,650, okay. So considering the backlog of uh, the people who are waiting for their PR status to be activated and landing in Canada, if we deduct that number from the PR in these two years, then there are 55,656. Uh, let's assume 56,000 people will be, will be getting ITAs. Okay. Now, this is interesting. This is where it gets inter interesting. According to the information available on the Canadian Immigration website, 56,000 people will be getting ITA who will be landing in 2022 or 2023. Okay, and uh, internal memo says that uh, we don't want any more people uh, with the newer ITA to be landing in 2022. So that's why they are going to conduct these draws, the Federal Skilled Worker draws, the Federal Skilled Trade draws, the Canadian Experience Class draws in late 2022. Okay, but keep in mind they need to invite 56,000 people. Okay, so ITS would be the uh, if we divide it by 1.5, because obviously 56,000 is the number of people. So ITS will be 37,100. Okay. Now 37,000 ITS are to be issued. That is one thing that is um, theorized and proven according to the data. All right. So let's talk about another thing. Uh, we know that uh, the processing time for PR is six months, uh, for PPR is six months. And then we can take two months or three months for that person to be receiving their COPR and landing in Canada and activating their PR status. Okay. So in total, we can assume that eight to nine months uh, from ITA to landing in Canada as PR. Okay. Let's assume that. So if it is eight months or nine months, it means that people who will get ITA till April or till March, they will be landing in that year of 2023, okay? So that gives us uh, three months in 2023, and uh, what can we say, three months in 2022, okay? So these six months, in these six months, um, if, if they conduct bi-weekly draws, which is uncertain for the year 2022 because Maybe in 2022, they will resume draws um, at a modest pace, not very high numbers. And then after that, they will stop again. Okay, maybe that happens. But anyhow, uh, if we take six months and um, uh, 12 draws, then we divide 37,100 with, uh, with 12 draws. Okay, so that leaves us with 3,091, like 3,100 ITAs per draw starting from October 2022 to March 2023 okay so we need 3100 
um, uh, ITAs per draw. Okay, so if 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 there are thirty one hundred draws, ITA draws, uh, then what will be the CRS? We have fifty eight hundred people currently above five hundred. Okay, and let's say uh, in October the number is going to rise to sixty five hundred, sixty six hundred. So in these two draws of thirty one hundred each or three thousand ITAs each, uh, this number will be cleared above five hundred people. Okay. So we can assume that in the start of 2023, if they start doing um, bigger draws, five thousand, six thousand, it means that in in 2022 they stopped their draws, and in January 2023 they restart. Okay, because they need to invite, uh, they give, they need to give thirty-one thousand ITAs according to their um, targets. Okay, so thirty-one thousand ITAs. Uh, and let's assume that there were few given in 2022, late 2022, and in 2023, uh, start of 2023, the number of ITAs will increase, and the number of CRS will reduce. Okay, so it is quite safe to assume that um, people having 481, 484, who are federal skilled worker um, uh, people, essentially. Uh, they would be getting their ITAs in uh, the first quarter or the second quarter of 2023. Okay, this is based on the data I just shared with you. And if you have a different opinion, then I would like to um, know about it. I would like to learn about it. Uh, so that's why you need to comment below with your opinion if it is different. And if you agree that okay, 31,000 ITA ITAs are needed uh, to achieve their target. For twenty twenty three and twenty twenty two, and we know that in twenty four uh, they are going to invite uh, above one hundred and eleven thousand uh, people landing in Canada, one hundred and eleven thousand above that. Above that, so there will be many many draws um, in late twenty three. In the start of twenty four, many draws, and uh, probably express entry draws will resume um, in a similar fashion. Okay, in twenty three. But um, in 2022, there will be some draws. There will uh, the CRS will be very high. Uh, but in 23, things are going to be uh, normal according to the data that I just shared with you. So it is just a matter of uh, uh, wait for uh, nine, ten months. Okay, and uh, let's assume you go for a study permit, um, considering you have a CRS of 481, 484. If you have that CRS. And you decide to go for a study permit, then you know that um, you need to study for at least eight months or nine months. Uh, that will be your one-year program, and then you need to start working. So, like um, maybe, maybe you you should wait if you have that CRS. Okay, but if your CRS is in low four seventies or high four sixties, then definitely uh, study visa is your option because. Uh, becoming a CEC is different thing. Having studied in Canada, it adds CRS to your points. Okay, so this was my analysis. This was my opinion that I wanted to share with you. Okay, so I hope you like this video. With these words, this is Alif Tahar, and I'm hoping great things are coming your way.